You know, when I first met you, I had no idea you were going to be this special to me. And to be quite honest, I was not even looking for you that day. But I walked into that store and you were whispering my name, saying, Audrey, Audrey, come get me. <laughs> and I'm glad I did. Come on, don't be jealous now. I'm glad I met you too. Yeah. You know, for us, it was love at first sight. I mean, you didn't even, you didn't even whisper my name. You screaming it, Audrey, and I heard you. Oh, is there? It's, it's me, Roland. Good morning, Mom. Roland, what do you want? It's time for morning devotion. I'm wondering if you can come and join us, please, Mom. Like I always tell you every morning, I am not interested. Mom, I, I promise we will make it very brief, Mom. Roland, I'm still sleeping. Mom, you won't be talking to me if you are sleeping. Go away! Okay, okay. May the Lord be with you, Mom. I'm beginning to like you less now. Because you hurt me every time we go out. What? <laughs> I'm lying now? What about the last time we went out? You almost had me fall down. But why do you do that? When you know how much... Good morning, sister. Hi, Roland. Um, you know what I've come to call you for, right? No, I don't. Come on, sister. It's time for morning devotion. Oh, right. Uh, I'm busy now. Okay, um, I can still hold the devotion for another 10 minutes so that you will be done with whatever you might be doing now. I will not be done with what I'm doing in 10 minutes, so just go ahead and have it without me. Audrey, I really want to see you there. A family that prays together, stays together. Okay, how about you go and have the devotion with the others and I'll join you guys when I'm done with this special activity that I'm doing. My sister. I really want to see you there. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. I am so, so sorry, lady. Where were we? Lord, you must be your... Oh, uh, hi, George. Hey. I was actually on my way to your room. It is time for the morning devotion.
countless times you have tried and failed to get me and every member of this family to your morning devotion, Roland. Don't you ever get tired of rejection? Come on, I just, I just hope someday you all will have a change of heart and join me in the morning devotion for goodness sake. Okay. Okay. That someday is not today. I'm off to the gym, Chief. Judge. Yep. God. Cecilia. Amen. Bridget. Amen. Yeah, right. Amen. So you were sleeping all through the prayer? No, I've been awake the whole time. God. Why is everybody around me behaving like pagans? Hey, I dozed off because I was tired. I had a hectic day yesterday at the clinic. Listen, Bridget, no one should be too tired to thank God for the gift of life. And if you want our relationship to work out, you need to pay more attention to your spiritual life. Yes, sir. Can I go back to sleep now? Hey, babe. Hey. What's up? How was Jim? Oh, God. Ooh, he's very, very tired. Mm. Right now, what I need is a cold shower, babe. <laughs> you want to come join me, huh? No. Well, hey. I'm you want me to beg you or what? I'm just, I'm not in the mood for that. Oh, yeah, I can get you in the mood, baby. Come on. Mm-hmm. What? My mom called while you were away at the gym. Is there anything wrong? She wants to know if we're making any progress towards getting married. Never mind. I'm just going to take my shower. <sighs> Please, George, we need to talk about this. About what? Each time my mom calls me on the phone, she refers to you as my baby daddy. And when I try and contest it, she's quick to remind me that we're not married yet. So? I don't like it. I'm supposed to be a good role model to my younger sisters. And being a baby mama without any legal or traditional rights to matrimony isn't a good way of being one. So? So? Listen, Eunice, I can't talk about marriage right now. I'm still grieving over my father's death. You said you'll go see my people immediately after the burial. No. I know exactly what I said. What did you say? I told you that I'll start to think about it after the burial. The burial was a month ago. Yeah, I know. Listen, look, I don't want to talk about this right now, okay? Jeez. Like, 
Yo, good man. Oh, man. <laughs> Mr. Man. Yeah, I'm doing great, man. Hey? What's up, bro? <laughs> you know, uh, the secretary told me that you were here. Yeah. Good to have you back, man. Same here, bro. Yeah. Same here, yeah. bro. Yeah. Man, feels yeah. good to be back. Yeah. Look at my office, eh? Yeah. After that, it's preparation and all, the barrier thing and all, everything has just been so up, you know? Oh, yeah, about that, man, Georgie. Uh -huh. Once again, accept my heartfelt condolences and may the gentle soul of the chairman rest in peace. Amen. Thanks, bro. Sure. Look at you. Sal, so what's up? What's happening? What's going on? What did I miss? Uh, what's happening? Hmm? Nothing much, man. Nothing much. Yeah. Uh, just that everyone is anxious to know who will be the next chairman of the company. Mm. Mm. Can't actually wait. I can't wait to hear that as well, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm hearing rumors that someone I'm looking at right now might be the one to start calling the shows <laughs> from the chairman's <laughs> office. Oh my goodness. I thought so, but we all have to wait for my dad's will to be right. But yeah, exactly, exactly. The next but remember, there. Georgie, mm -hmm. don't forget me in your paradise. Oh, <laughs> really, Simon? You like money this much, eh? Eh? Huh? You're a thief, man. Yeah, uh, Georgie. <laughs> How are you, Uncle Jimmy? Uh, Nikki, I'm managing all, I'm managing. Mm. Well, then, how are you getting over the stress of your late husband's burial? It wasn't that stressful. Mm. Mm. I know you're a strong woman. Mm. I just hope, hope that you'll find a way of uh, Getting over his passing away. Hmm? I'll find a way somehow. Hmm. 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 And how about your in-laws? Hmm. Have you heard from them? Because I did not see any of them at the burial. You know my in-laws don't live in the country. Uh -huh. All of them? Most of them. Oh. Those that matter. It seems to me like you are still having uh, some issues with your in-laws. Uh. I don't have issues with anyone, but I don't care if they have issues with me. Uh, I would have thought that uh, they would put aside whatever differences you both have uh, for the uh, sake of the dead, at least show some respect. Huh? I didn't miss them one bit at the burial. My husband got a befitting burial he deserved. But you did inform them about the burial arrangement, right? I did. In my own way. Look, Uncle Jimmy, can we stop talking about my illness for now? <laughs> they don't need me, and I don't need them as well. Mm hmm, well, I know. I was just so concerned. Uh, but if you say so, so. I say so. Mm hmm. <laughs> Vicky, mm, I hope it's not too early for me to start asking for favors. Uh, uh, considering the fact that you just finished the burial uh, right and arrangement of your latest band. How much do you need and what for? Uh, Vicky, before we start talking about how much, it is actually uh, for your nieces and nephew. You see, the way it is right now, uh, my wife and I don't really have much money. We are not buoyant at all. How much do you need? Well, like uh, 1.8 million naira. <laughs> you know how expensive uh, these uh, schools can be sometimes. Well, I hope you and your wife have taken to one of the numerous options for family planning. Because it makes no sense to me mm. to have more kids when you can't even take care of the ones you already have. Vicky, you are very correct. You see, my wife and I have agreed to stop having kids for now. And because my new wife says she will be having between five and six for me. And that is why. You see, um, so we are Already making an Do you think I have time for joking around, Uncle Jimmy? Oh. I'll give you half the money. Oh. You go source for the other half. And don't you ever bring this kind of problem for me to solve again. Uh, uh, <clears throat> okay, I, I, I will not. 
Then mm. I'll go get my checkbook. Excuse me. Huh? We're talking 1.8. She's talking half. Where am I supposed to get the, the rest of the money from? Huh? See, if I have that kind of money, I will come to you. Uh-uh. Sometimes I don't know what is wrong with this my sister self. She 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 she's always the the, the daily. Yeah. Girl. Mm. A beggar cannot have a shoes. Or a shoes cannot have a beggar. I don't even understand anymore. I heard you're the boss man now. You have a lot of money in your hand. Yeah, no, I'm working very hard, man. So you know, you I'm, I'm, I'm a very hard worker. I've been to your office and you were not there. Uh, I knew I'd find you here. Hello, Rita. Aren't you supposed to be working on a file for me? I'll get to it. When? So now that your uh, gossip mate has resumed work, I guess we should expect you to start slacking in your hey. own duties. Hey, I beg your pardon. I am not his gossip mate. Then what do you call what you two are doing here? Rita, he's been away from work for weeks. We're just oh. catching up. Catching up? Well, you can catch up after work. How many times do I have to tell you to stop comparing yourself with George? He has the advantage of nepotism. I take exceptions to that, Rita. How many times do I have to tell you that I'm in this company because I am qualified to be here and not because my dad owns the company? Yeah, right. Get back to work immediately or else you'll qualify yourself for query because the file I sent to you needs to be ready before Man. end of business today. Oh. Man. Mm. I hate that girl. You see the I'm telling you the truth. That one, Georgie? I Georgie? Hate her from day one. Yeah. She likes to boss people around. Let's talk later, Georgie. Let me go attend to her file. Right. Chat later. You don't see they take me up and dad they sweat like chicken. Uh, one more hand, just one for the road. One for the road. Say what you have. Cut one for the road. I guess you didn't for us. Tell them that they have arrived. Uh, tell them the Jimmy the boxer has arrived. Mm, I want a mini machine. Uh, uh, I just will myself. Tell them that uh, I am in town now <laughs> and I have come big time. <laughs> yes, so. <laughs> ah, the Papa gave himself. Oh, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy! Papa gave himself. 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 Jimmy, Jimmy! Jimmy, Jimmy! Papa gave himself. 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 Jimmy, Jimmy! Oh yeah, yeah. Jimmy the boxer! I, I can't believe that oh, yeah. you, 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 I like today. Jimmy yeah, don't play with that. Today is very nice. Even the, 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 the shepherd is, uh, is flowing already. I just take one for the house. One, one, one for the house. Ah, God, God, God. Ah! Today, like game of 21, Buji. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Eh? I mean, I mean. Ah! Yes. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Good evening, Ma. Bridget. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, Ma. <sighs> What's with the bag? It's my clothes, Ma. I went to fetch them after I knocked off early at work. <laughs> Trust them. I thought you were only here a few weeks because you wanted to be with your boyfriend at his grieving moment over the loss of his father. Are you moving in fully now? Um, actually, Ma, 
The clinic where I work is much closer to this place and I can't deny the fact that I'm more comfortable here than the crowded two-bedroom apartment where I'm squatting with five other friends. And I must be honest, I like to enjoy the comfort a little bit more here. Hmm. Well, I have no problem with you staying in my house as long as your boyfriend is okay with it. You seem like a good girl and who knows what she's doing. So... Thank you, Ma. Listen, if you're going to stay in my house, I'd appreciate if your boyfriend, my son, discusses it with me first. Are we clear? Crystal clear, ma'am. Mm -hmm. You may go in. Thank you so much, ma'am. She said I can move in. All you have to do is tell her about it. But Bridget, why would you go and have such conversation with my foster mother without even asking me first? Well, she saw my bag and she asked what was inside of it. But why? Why would you bring more of your stuff here in the first place? Because I'm happy here. I'm happy being around you, Roland. Is that a bad thing? It's not. But you know I'm attending a missionary training at the Institute. And I'm hoping to become a certified evangelist of the gospel someday. And you moving in here is going to expose both of us to some kind of avoidable temptations. But I'm exposed to a hard temptation living with my friends. Do you have any idea how many of my friends, boyfriend's friends that I have to tell off because I'm faithful to you and because I love you? Bridget, you know I love you, and I'm very faithful to you. But Roland, love is all about compromise. If you want us to build a future together, then I don't see why you'd have a problem with me moving in. <sighs> we will pray about that. You know, she's been at that for over five minutes now. You know, she, she is finicky. <laughs> Wilson, I know finicky. And that is nowhere near it. <laughs> okay, so, what is it? You know, I don't know what to make of it. But she keeps getting worse each and every day. I think she's losing her mind. 